Two of you too. Top of morning to you guys, man. That's a strip joint. Surely that's a strip joint. <laughs> that's a strip joint. Top of morning to you guys, man. It's around uh, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know, the early bird, we want to catch the worm. <clears throat> um, however, <sighs> let me just say, start by saying this. Welcome. It can be five, six, seven, nine. Just get truth, die line, because it is truth to die. We are trying to. We as the group, we as the team, we as under the channel, get truth or die line together. We are trying to dig through the lies to find the truth and expose these suckers, mate. And uh, ultimately. The goal would be to hopefully build a better future for our kids and our kids' kids' kids and maybe even change the reality of the um, of what the world's coming to, man. Because uh, the world's becoming a dark place. As you can see, I'm bundled up out here. It's becoming a cool place because uh, they're not feeling to spray them skies. See that? That was a clear blue sky yesterday. All day they sprayed it though. All day they sprayed it. Now, sun's gone. There is no more sun. There is no more sun. The sun is gone. Okay. Whew. It's cold out here. Um, excuse me. Sun is gone. But, we still have another day of life. Hope is still alive. Okay, the sun may be gone, but hope is still here, man. And, you know, I'm going to get on, on to showing you guys a petition that I showed in my live stream last night that a uh, buddy of mine in the UK, um, for, for like what, a disease, I can't, I, it's, a, it's that muscle disease, M muscle atrophy for, for, for kids get it. So uh, I'm going to show that, guys, and uh, hopefully my United King viewers will sign it. Uh, us Americans can't sign it. We have to be in the UK unfortunately so we can't sign it uh, they're trying to get 10,000 signatures um, and if they get to 100,000 they can get part of it so see if we see if we can help here man we'll get the truth to die line man uh, also man as you guys know I'm going on a little rant real quick as you guys know it's cold yesterday I explained on the live stream man I had a crazy crazy uh, afternoon okay Went to get a new phone. My screen's cracked. It's the one I'm recording on right now. And I have a PayPal card and a Cash App card, okay? So I had uh, a couple dollars on the Cash App, right? i have done uh, several times I've went and got a, uh, went and took money off the ATM. Used it, whatever, okay? Well, all I did was withdraw enough money to get my hair cut from an ATM machine, okay? In the morning. Went and got my hair cut, okay? As you can see. Went and got my hair cut, right? Okay. Next, I tried to. Damn, did you hear that? Oh, shit, there's geese up there. It's like they're running from the chemtrails. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know where they went. Well, next, what I did was. I went and got my hair cut. And then I went, tried to get a phone, okay? So, the phone. The phone's thing was down, right? So I had to get a, um, I had to go back to an ATM. So I go inside Dollar Bank ATM, all right? A Dollar Bank, okay? And from there, I went to withdraw $180, all right? It declined me at the ATM. I'm sorry, I'm, 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 there's a ton of things around me right now. Oh, God. Damn. So it declined me to ATM, okay? Long story short, declined me to ATM. 180 bucks declined me. It said that I reached my transaction limit for the day, which, like I said, I only used the card one time. <laughs> so I'm like, man, what? I gotta go to another ATM. So as I leave, I get a text message from uh, 
the app, the cash app, saying that they took, they took eighty three dollars. How you doing? They took eighty three dollars from me. Okay. Mind you, I told you I tried to withdraw one hundred eighty. There's a three dollar fee. But it says they with they they took eighty dollars from me. Eighty three. I'm like, what? So I turn around. I go back in there. And I, I throw a little temper tantrum, a big one. I, I snapped. I, I was mad. I mean, I didn't snap like that, but I, I got mad enough they called the cops on me. And, uh, man, dude, man, look, that was the start of it, man. After that, I'm sorry. I have to be aware of my surroundings. So forgive me for, for like, uh, being slow to talk right now. But I'm, I'm trying to be aware of my surroundings, okay? So, anyway, I'm about to just stop right here and finish doing this. Damn. Now I got to keep walking. It's too damn cool. Anyway, man, listen. So, the, the 83, right? Bam. I'm, they're like, yo, you, we're not giving you the money. It's the uh, the cash app. You got to call the cash app. Cash app ain't got no phone number on it. I'm like, dude, it's your ATM that stole the money. Dude, listen, I swear to God, on everything I love, that, Matt, that ATM did not give me money. Well, anyway, you, you, you'll you see in a second anyway. Uh, you'll see I didn't lie. So, I'm like, man, run the tapes back. Do what you got to do. The damn money did not come out of the machine. Uh, you're not burning me for it. It ain't, you know what I mean? It ain't like that right now. You ain't burning me for that money. Man, it should be $8 or something right now. So, anyway. Why does it keep doing that? Every time I look at it, it's gone. They won't do it. They call the cops, so I leave. Walk away. I said, two hours go back, I get a text message. It says, you're, you got an $83.50 refund from Dollar Bank. So they refunded it. Okay, so I'm like, ah, these creeps, I told you, I told you I didn't, I didn't get that money. Da, 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 blah, blah, blah. From that point, uh, I was working on my PayPal card um, and trying to, Transfer the money from the cash app to the PayPal so I could withdraw from the PayPal card. Do that. Now it ain't hitting the PayPal card. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. And someone had sent money to the PayPal card. So I was actually waiting for a very close friend of mine um, that was going to help me out send money to the PayPal. All right. Now I'm waiting for that to come, plus the transfer. It don't hit. It, th it ain't hitting, but everything's saying it's done. I got a confirmation email, everything. But it's not there, okay? It's not there, all right? So anyway, what I do next is I call PayPal, because PayPal at least has a damn customer service. Cash app? Listen, dude, do not use Cash app. I'm telling you, it's a scam, dude. It's all, it's, it, one, it's only to transfer money. But that card they send, it's bullshit, man. Look, it's just a scam, dude. They, every time I use a, a, a machine that they hit me for $6, it's a scam. Don't even, I'm telling you, don't even mess with Cash App. I'm here to destroy Cash App's reputation. Do not mess around with Cash App. Matter of fact, I'm putting it in the title. Do not, Cash App. Now, PayPal is a little bit better, but listen to what PayPal does. Now it ain't there, right? So I'm like, what the hell is going on? She's like, the, the lady on the phone finally figures it out for me. And uh, they confirm my email and then the money's there, all right? Now I go to a ATM. I withdraw money for the phone, okay? And the damn uh, ATM charged me $6 for the, for the PayPal too. It charges you $3 and, and from the card and $3 from the Mac machine, I guess. Because, yeah, whatever. But, anyway. Now, next thing I try to do was get an Uber. Okay, no, 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 my bad. Listen. I tried to use the Cash App card to get a dollar coffee. That was next. Now, it's telling me, okay? Listen, I have a balance, okay, on the card. I have a $83 balance on the cash app card right but it won't let me use the money dude listen 
it will not let me use the money. Uh, it's like, dude, it keeps telling me, your balance, uh, the balance you're requesting is unavailable, as if I don't have no money on there. But listen to what I'm saying to you. I tried to get a dollar coffee from McDonald's with $83 on there, and it wouldn't do it, all right? There's nothing to call. All you can do is send an email, and everyone knows how that goes. <laughs> everyone knows how that goes. <laughs> so the PayPal, now back to the PayPal. Now I tried to get an Uber with the PayPal. The PayPal saying, no, 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 declining me. I'm like, what the hell, dude? Next. And mind you, I only did one ATM transaction. Ooh, shit. Look at a rat, dude. Look at this. Look at a rat. It's a rat. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, that was a big-ass rat, dude. <laughs> that one was big, bro. It was big as a cat. So, anyway. Then I called someone. Yo. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Someone tried to send money to PayPal and it wouldn't let them. It would not let them because I thought they were trying to say that the, the, the balance wasn't enough for the Uber. Okay, like as if I uh, say the Uber was 22. If it goes over, it ends up being 25 or something. You know what I mean? I think they always wanted there to be a couple extra dollars in the actual ride cost just in case there's like a change in movement. Uh, the price can actually change. But, uh, yeah, check this place out. Google that. This place, I'm pretty sure that that place works on, like, weapons. Like, biological weapons. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Um, I don't know that for sure. But I'm pretty sure, but I'm not for sure. So, <laughs> and I'm just saying, man. Then, then I couldn't use. Then I, next, I couldn't use the damn PayPal, and um, dude, it wouldn't let nobody send money to the PayPal or nothing. Like I, I don't know, but I just don't understand. Um, so here, 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 here's here's my here's my example, or or say the dudes on YouTube <laughs> that collect money off PayPal. You telling me that they got a limit? So listen, if someone wants to give you four donations in one day, if someone wants to donate money four times, you're telling me that because it's a PayPal card, you can't get get it, you understand what I'm saying? I used the card one time, and this has nothing to do with that. Nothing at all to do with donations at all. I, did, I just don't have a bank account, so that's what I use, PayPal Cash App. I, I, this has nothing to do with anyone from YouTube. This has nothing to do with any uh, donations. I'm just saying PayPal is used frequently through uh, YouTube. You know, support my channel. Buy me a cup of coffee. <laughs> John X Army. <laughs> PayPal. Everyone has PayPal though. Not just him. He just he just a goofball won't say buy me a cup of coffee. But um yeah guys I, I, I hopefully you, you see my point right now. Um it, it's weird man. It's weird. You know, Wells Fargo, Power Outage. I mean, dude, I can't imagine, you know, like, all I'm saying is I got a feeling of what it would be like if the bank shut down and, 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 the, and the ATM machines told you you can't have no money. You know what I mean? You got money there and they're not letting you use it. I got a feeling of that yesterday, man. I got a feeling of that, man. And that ain't, uh... It wasn't nice, man. It wasn't nice. I was pissed. I almost went to jail. You know, like, yeah, yeah. Don't mess with Cash App, man. Cash App is a scam. Cash App is, is just there to, to hit you with fees and do shit like this. Man, I, I'm, I think they're going to try to keep that money. But I sent them an email. So maybe they got the email. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Regardless, they're scumbags, okay? So, if I was you, I would. I do not recommend Cash App. PayPal, like I said, is a little better, but damn, dude. I mean, if you can only, if you, if your transaction limit is at one transaction a day, and then, and then you're maxed out with them, had to be something wrong yesterday. There had to be something wrong yesterday. And then you guys remember how bad my internet was last night? Every phone, I got five phones now. Every internet, all every phone's internet 
was all screwed up, man. Like, it was all screwed up last night, dude. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. It, I, it just seemed fishy to me. That never happened. I, I've never been through nothing, nothing like that, man. Like, the internet was screwed up, all right? All over the place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'm not done. I forgot. Now, nah, before I even got home, I'm downtown, okay? I have data on my phone. I don't need to be at Wi-Fi. I'm using my data. When I was going to get the Uber to try it, right, it said you are not in uh, network. You are out of network range is what it said. A big red bar flashed across the Uber screen. And it said you were out of network range. So that happened too. Okay. Funny money, man. That's what we call funny money, man. We call it we call that we call them type of shit funny money because yeah, something ain't right. Something ain't right with it, you feel me? But so anyway guys, that's that. Uh let's touch up on that growl last night. Alright. I heard a growl. Okay, I just ran my I was just answering comments, and as I was answering comments, I went past the growl part. And dude, I did not hear it. I did not hear it on the uh, video. I did not hear it on the recording, guys. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm I'm just hard of hearing. But when I just ran it back while I was answering comments, I did not hear a growl. Okay, so like I said, maybe it's just me. I don't know, but I can't hear it. All right. It went off, it beeped one time and it stopped again. I don't get it, I need to get coffee something out of that. I'm free. It's for ah, damn, right my eye. Um, but yeah, man. Now, alright, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna show you guys the petition right now. Hey, YouTube, what's going on? Okay, we're back here. Okay, I'm, I, I'm about to read the petition to you guys, but I figured it was the perfect time uh, to show you guys this as well. Old St. Patrick Church. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read. Preparation. Let each one kneeling before the high altar make an act of contrition and form the intention of gaining the indulgences, whether for themselves or for the souls in purgatory. Then say, My Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die for me with love unutterable, and I have so many times unworthily abandoned you. But now I love you with my whole heart, and because I love you, I repent sincerely for ever having offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for love of me. I wish also, my beloved Redeemer, to die for love of you. My Jesus, I will live and die always united to you. At the cross, her station keeping, stood the mourning mother weeping. Close to Jesus at last. Man, maybe uh, David, uh, there he goes, carrying the cross. Uh, David, maybe, um, David, maybe this will get, oh, uh, man, look at that, man. You just imagine that. Look at the crown of thorns busting through his forehead, man. God bless you, man. God bless you, Jesus. Yahweh, Yeshua, Yeshua. So, guys, David, uh, I'm about to read this position for David and his son with this muscular disease. Okay, muscular trophy. Maybe just uh, we can get a blessing. Maybe we can get a blessing, Lord God. Give us a blessing for his son. Look at that, man. Yeah, guys, this is just a spur of the moment video. All this had just happened. Dad, look at Jesus cut like a mug, bull. Jesus wasn't no soft dude. Look at him. He's ripped, bro. He's ripped, bro. There he goes, man. He died for our sins, man. Amen, man. God bless, man. God bless everybody, man. God bless everybody. God bless y'all, man. And he resurrected. Then he resurrected three days later. Guys, uh, I have to I have to show you guys about this worm, dude. This red worm in Israel. Israel. Um, I gotta get the name of the worm. 
Okay. In the Bible, Jesus says, I am but a worm. Okay. And when he says that, it's confusing. He says, I am but a worm. Okay. And, uh, you know, we're like, what? I am but a worm. Well, what's crazy is there's this red worm, okay? And it almost looks like gel. It's like it's like you can just see the blood through the worm, okay? You can just you you just see the blood in the worm basically. It's like a clear worm, but it's red and it's all the blood inside of it, okay? And as far as I know, this worm is only in Israel. Okay, I, sh I have to get the name of the worm, okay? Actually, I will try to do that before this video is over. I will try to just Google real quick red worm in Israel, see if I can get it up. Now, this red worm is more than unique by just the color of it and the way it looks. Um, this red worm lives to die for his babies, her babies. So, what the red worm does, basically, is it has its eggs, its babies, whatever, whatever you call them for worms, all right, on a tree, okay? And then it lays its eggs, it hatches the eggs, and then it bursts. And blood drizzles down the, down the tree. And what it does is it dies so the blood falls over his kids and saves his kids so they can like for whatever reason it has to do that for his kids to grow and three days later Something about resurrecting, something that the analogy with resurrecting three days later, the worm. I, I gotta look the worm up. I gotta look the worm up. That's what I gotta do. It's called the crimson worm. See, that's what I was talking about on the tree. See that red spot? Let's see if we could. The word for this worm is translated as scarlet during the construction of the tabernacle. Let's see if we can see its uh, reproduction process. Hey, be nice. I'm not doing nothing to your eggs, man. But I am a worm, and no man, a reproach of men, and despised of the people. Psalms 22, 6. How close is that? Look at that. Jamantra. Continue with, with an in-depth research. There is more to this Hebrew word by using Jamantra. That's, uh, j I think... Is that is that is that Jamatria? Is that Jamatria over there? All right, guys. Say bye. I'm gonna start walking because I'm freezing my little butt off. Why can't I move my little guy up here? Please watch over all of us. Please watch over all of us. Watch over all of us, man. Please. <clears throat> a system of assigning numbers to the letters of the word to obtain a, num a numerical value. See, that's Gematria. Check this. Look where this little uh, rabbit hole took us. Then searching the Bible for words having the same numerical value. Here's the breakdown of Tolala, Tola, uh, now, which, uh, 
See, see what, man, when I do Jamontra, <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? When I, uh, the, 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 the book, they say God created the world merging the letter with the number with the word. And uh, they say that's how God created the world. Crazy stuff, man. Crazy stuff. Adding the numbers, Tola Ath has a sum of 906. Other words have the same numerical value. Hope and side and three different conjugations of verb die. If one reads Psalm 22 as Christ on the cross, imagine the metaphor of calling himself a worm. He is attached by nails to a wooden cross. His blood stains the cross. He dies on the cross in the confirmation of his death. His side is pierced, spewing forth blood and water. Because his death and resurrection, we have the hope of eternal life. <clears throat> That's crazy. Wow. Did this just take us somewhere? That's that's crazy. I think maybe I should have read the beginning part. Okay. Sometimes God uses creation to show us a message, but we should have to take the time, stop, look, and observe His handy creative work. The word worm used in Psalms 22, 6 is no ordinary worm. And the use of the femen, I mean, sorry. Yeah, the femen, the femen, the femen. The femen form of the word tells us to look at the mother. The verse shows an interesting symbolism. As I did my study on Psalms 22 during the Lent season, I had translated this word as crimson, depicting Christ on the cross and his body being crimson stained. I had ignored looking at the habitat and function of this peculiar worm for after all it's just a worm right well i blush crimson quote unquote for i missed something amazing the tolia ath worm scientifically called the caucus illicus is a worm found in the middle east and was used in ancient times to make a crimson or scarlet dye the word for this worm is translated as scarlet during the construction of the tabernacle. You guys with me? Because I'm not with myself. Obviously. The week I was reviewing Psalm 22 again. And in the nature of research. I read a title further about this worm. I found an amazing article. Where the function of the female Tula Ath. Is a symbol of Christ. Is a symbol of Christ on the cross. Here is a link. The crimson on scarlet worm. And an excerpt. She then attaches her body. To, here it goes. This should be this should be exactly what I was trying to tell you guys. She then attaches her body to that wood and makes a hard crimson shell. The crimson worm then lays her eggs under her body in the protective shell. When the baby worms or larvae hatch, they stay under the shell. Not only does the mother's body give protection for her babies, but it also provides them with food. The babies feed on the living body and of the living body of the mother. When the mother dies, there is a crimson stain left on the wood. Continuing with an in-depth research, there is more to this Hebrew word by using Jamantra, a system of assigning numbers to the letters of the word to obtain a numerical value. Then searching the Bible for words having the same numerical value. Here's the breakdown. So basically, guys, check this out. The only part they ain't saying, we just read that. The only part we, I'm not getting from them, this right here, is the resurrection part. But they, that's the stain that leaves, once again. We're not getting the resurrection part. There's a resurrection process of uh, this worm that links with, with G. It's, oh, man, I can't, I can't, I can't remember. Here, let's read. Oops. Hold up. Let me try to switch this over, guys. My bad. All right, let's see if we could get any information off this thing. The crimson word, the crimson worm is common to the, re the region of old Israel. In ancient days, the dead bodies of the female crimson worms were scraped from the tree, from the tree, dried, and then ground into a powder that was used to dye their cloth and garments a scarlet 
or red color. They are round, about the size of a pea, because they don't look like a worm. Some people thought they were part of a plant. The crushed worm was also used to make medicine that helps that helps the heart beat smoothly. The white wax body was used to make shellac, a preservation of wood. Sorry, it's hard to read. It's little for me. Uh, let's see if we can get any facts here about the resurrection of it. I, I, I'm not seeming to put this here now. The prophecy states that he whom God had chosen or taken from the ends of the earth, the fulfillment of which is undoubtedly Brother Felix Manelo is the seed of Abraham, hence he called Jacob. Scarlet. The country. Um, yeah. It doesn't look like we're getting any more info here, guys. It doesn't really look like it, man. Net. I just want to see. There you go. That's the worm right there. That's the worm. Well, you guys see what I mean, though. Now let's read this petition for my man Dave, man. If you guys can, man, anyone in the United Kingdom. Please sign this. Okay, this is a petition. Fun treatment of spinal muscular atrophy with spine rosa. Spine, spine rosa. Wow, is it cold. Many countries across the world, including some significantly smaller economies such as Poland and Slovakia, are providing children and adults access to spine rosa. Spinal for the treatment of SMA. It is a vital. It is vital that this treatment is made accessible to sufferers of England. We got 1,420 signatures so far. We need 10,000. At 10,000 signatures, government will respond to this petition. At 100,000 signatures, the petition will be considered for debate of Parliament. Okay. Um. If you guys need any information on this man, let me know. I'll put the link in the description of this video. If it ain't there when you very, very first watch the video, then uh, that means that I just I, I, I just didn't fill the description in at the time. I got I got I got you. I'll get it in there. I'll get it in there right away. Sometimes I do the description a half hour after the video gets posted. Um, but I should be able to do it from this phone all at once. Uh, regardless, guys, if you can, man, anyone in the United Kingdom, please sign this petition, man. I mean, you, you gotta feel for if you got you gotta feel for him, man. You gotta feel for his, his son, man, that has this disease, and just gotta feel for every kid out there, man. You know, just think about it. Think about it. If it was your kid. Think of you. Put you. Sometimes you gotta put yourself in the other one's the other person's position. And sorry, guys, we got cut off right there. So, all right, I'm gonna wrap this up, man. Um, if you can, you know, share, share that petition as much as you can. As much as you can, please. Uh, try to get it out there. Try to help him, man, please. Uh, uh, help me help him. Uh, I'm asking you guys, man, please. Um, do that kind of your heart. Do it on GP. Even if you're a troll, man, help the guy out, man. Help his son out, man. That, come on. Like, seriously, come on. God bless all you guys. Much love to you. All right? My name's Iggy MB5679. This is Get Truth to Die Lamb. It's Truth to Die.